a burrito expert? Because I love burritos and I've been eating burritos since forever and uh, because I eat burritos every day and I know exactly how to make a burrito. Sweet. Okay, what do you think is the first step to getting a good burrito? Well, a good burrito needs tortilla first and then uh, you need to line up the ingredients maybe put some beans, like beans and some rice and uh, some meat of course and that's basically it In Brazil we have the saying it goes like Um burrito nada mais é do que um monte de merda enrolado numa porra de uma tortilha And that is if you don't write, if you don't choose the right ingredients for your burrito, you're not gonna have a good burrito. So Rafael, what's the next step to enjoying a good burrito? Oh, you gotta, first of all, you gotta take care of it. Like it's your baby. And then you gotta unwrap it real good. We actually, we actually have a saying in Portuguese that goes like, um burrito é como se fosse um bebê. Você não tem que fazer porra nenhuma porque ninguém tá entendendo nesse vídeo. And it means exactly what I just said in English. It's you have to you have to hold it like your baby and then write it. So what's the final step to enjoying your burrito? Oh that's that's a very important step. You gotta take a very big bite to cherish the most the flavor of it. We actually have a saying in Portuguese. It goes like, "Você enfia o caralho todo na boca, que tudo fica beleza no final." And that is, you have to take a big bite to enjoy the full flavor of a burrito. Okay, sweet. So, do you want to go and get a burrito now? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Oh, I just remember. There's another saying in Portuguese that goes like this: "Se você não for fazer porra nenhuma, não faça porra nenhuma, porque ninguém tá entendendo merda nenhuma que falar nesse vídeo." And it's actually, don't do anything if you're not gonna get a burrito. Burritos are the most important part of your life. Let's go. Are you gonna follow me? Do I have both